Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Upper St. Clair High School, home of the Panthers. It is opening night of the 2013 girls volleyball home season. My name is Kevin McGahey, Cody Lance working the camera tonight, and this is game number one of the 2013 season. Right now, everybody's in first place. I'll get a chance to set the lineups for you as we progress around the rotation here. That's a whole brand new cast of characters with a couple of exceptions from last year's squad. The Panthers will take off with the opening serve and it'll be number 13, senior defensive specialist Lisa Oxenreiter with the opening serve. The Panthers playing in the white jerseys left to right. It's the Connellsville Falcons playing in the blue jerseys right to left. And the season opens up with sophomore middle blocker Sammy Amos, the leading scorer from last season with point number one to open up the season. This is a section contest. It counts in the standings, and the Panthers open up an early 1-0 lead, and that one lands in for the first service ace of the season off the hands of Lisa Oxenrider, and it's an early 2-0 Panther lead. It's hard to know uh, what things look like here as it's opening night and I've not seen either of these teams play yet. We'll know as things progress how evenly matched we are and the way things are going. It goes way out of bounds off the hands of number 16 for Connellsville. That's junior Megan Kirkpatrick. She plays opposite and it's just like that. A three nothing St. Clair lead and it's Lisa Oxenreiter. Again with that St. Clair serve a little balloon ball. Nothing much on at that time. It gets to the front line from the left side now. Dust tapped over, rescued nicely by number five, Emily Kennedy. She gets it right back for the attack, and it's down. Emily Kennedy, the sophomore, she's an outside hitter, a legacy player. Her older sister played here quite a while ago. Now it is Emily's turn, but it's still Lisa Oxenreiter serving with a 4 nothing lead. A hard driving serve, but it goes way long, about eight feet long. She must have been in the weight room earlier in the week. Side out. Point Connellsville, substitution number 23, jumps on the floor. That's Saya Mickens for Connellsville. Number 21, Angel Fulton, a senior middle hitter, goes out. Meanwhile, it's number four, Emma Bell, a senior, wearing the libero jersey tonight. The libero, as you know if you've seen any of these contests before, is a free substituting player, usually defense, playing the back line. Little double hit is the call. So quickly, a double hit. You can touch the ball with two hands, but you may not impart a spin on it, especially on the second touch when it's supposed to float off the hands of the setter. That is a violation, and there's another violation. Service error for Connellsville. Panthers get it right back, and it's Emily Kennedy with a St. Clair serve. That one would have dropped around the line. Connellsville chose to play it. And from the left side, no power on that one. Well, that's hard to do, but number 19, Taylor Haley, put it over the head of six foot two Sammy Amos. And that has just got to be opening night, opening night coordination issues. Sammy being 6'2 and arms like that, Taylor Haley had to put it up a long way. Meanwhile, it's, it's number 10 for Connells will do in the serving. That's Melissa Kirby. Over from the back row, nothing much on it, but rescued nicely by Elise Oxenrider. Left side again, Connellsville just touched over, and it lands out. Did any St. Clair player touch it? No, I thought maybe Lisa Oxenrider got a fingernail on it. Let's see just a second as we adjust the score here. I think that was a, yes, yes, St. Clair does get the point, and it's Sammy Amos with a left-handed serve from way up high. It will come back from Connellsville, just touched over again. Looks like they may be using that technique tonight rather than the big hit. Well, that goes to the right of Lisa Oxenreiter. Connellsville gets the point inside out. Look that there'll be some free substitutions on the blue side tonight. Number 13 on the floor is Brianna Stouffer, the junior outside hitter. The number two sits, that's Lindsay Leonard. Maria Marindino for Connellsville with the serve, and that hit off the hands of number 21, Emily Casson for St. Clair. Taylor Haley with the set, and number 11, Leah Kern with the put away. Her first kill of the night, two for the team. 
Panthers get the side out and the point. Substituting now number three on the floor. First time we've seen Annie Kavrich, a junior right side player. Lisa Oxenreiter heads out. There's probably be a front row, back row substitution pattern for them all night. Meanwhile, it is Taylor Haley with a St. Clair serve to the setter. Back to the back row. Well, that won't come with power. Sammy Amos bumping it forward. Taylor Haley with a set to the left side. Off the block, still in play. Emily Casson had that hit. Hey, Taylor Haley again right side. Slicing attack by Andy Cavage did not find the floor. Emily Kennedy bumps it. Taylor Haley sets it. And still, we can't find the floor. It's a nice little rally here. Nice dig by Emily Kennedy, keeping that alive. It does not come back. Nice effort by Brianna Stouffer. But the point belongs to St. Clair and Taylor Haley again with a St. Clair serve. Panthers leading 8-4. Hard driving serve just off the net. It's playable. Not like in the old days. Yeah, four hits, not a block. It went into the net. Four hits is the call. Panthers get the point, and it's 9-4. Home team, Taylor Haley again with that serve. Little set to the back row. Oh, it just, it just rolls right over the net. Thought that hit would probably end up on the floor off the hands of Maria Marandino, but she gets it instead. Number 23 now, Saya Mickens for the Falcons. Emily Kennedy with the bump. Taylor Haley with the set left side. Right at the defense, though, off of Andy Kavrich. That one lands out by just by a foot, just barely. Panthers still double up the Falcons. Here we are in set number one. You know what a match is. A match consists of five sets. A set is played to 25 points. Every serve results in a point. You have to win a set by two. First one to win three sets. Back row attack. Now that's a kind of a complicated rule. I'll explain it quickly. The, 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 the hit just then was from the back row, but the back row player stepped just over the line. Stepped just over the line. And she's not allowed to do that. She has to hit from behind that 10-foot line. Nice hit. It goes off a light fixture. It's still playable. Emily Kennedy with it. And down it goes. Emily Kennedy with her second kill of the night. And a timeout called by Connellsville. Well, the Panthers scoring points all sorts of ways right now. The lead is 12-5. A seven-point lead is set, of course, goes to 25, and you have to win it by two. It's a combination of errors by Connellsville and, well, good playing by the Panthers so far. Emily Kennedy leading the St. Clair Attackers with two kills. Leah Kern, number 11, the sophomore, she's got one. Sammy Amos, the six-foot-two wonder, has one block for a point and one service ace. Lisa Oxenreiter pulled that one in early in the match. And it is Emily Casson, number 21 for the Panthers, the senior outside hitter, back to do the uh, serving at 12-5. Each team gets two timeouts, times out rather, per set. Connells will use their first one just now. Timeouts last a minute. From the left side now, Sammy Amos picks up that attack. It's a little back set uh, into the net. Too bad. Emily Ka or Annie Kavrich, number three, had a pretty good look at it, but hammered it into the net. Connells will get the side out. End the point. 12-6. Panthers will still double up the Falcons in this first set of this best of five match. Left side, it's Emily Kennedy with kill number three off the Connellsville double block. That's not easy to do, but you had enough downward force on it that that one headed right to the floor instead of being popped right back up. Abby Drukas just rolls it over the net. Still didn't find the floor, though. Hard driving attack, but picked up nicely by Taylor Haley and popped over the end line by Annie Kavrich.
point and side out Connellsville, 13-7. Panthers still enjoying a six point lead. Substitution back on the floor for Connellsville is number two, Lindsay Leonard. Well, the overpass heads right back to Connellsville, a little back set to the right side. Picked up nicely by Annie Drukas. Off the hit and down, Emily Kennedy, my goodness. The sophomore and tonight's kill leader so far with four and it's a 14-7. Abby Drukas hands that ball right back to Lisa Oxenreiter and we've made the full six man rotation now. We're right back where we started when this set got underway. Lisa Oxenreiter with the serve and already one ace in her wallet. Hard driving attack by Maria Marandino, but returned by St. Clair's Sammy Amos with her first kill of the night and the season. And the Panthers open up a 15-7 lead here in the first set. Lisa Oxenreiter again. Tipped off the net, and it is, will it come back? It does. Connellsville brings it right back. Taylor Haley with the set. Left side, Emily Kennedy again. Oh, but didn't find the floor. Back set, right side. Lisa Oxenreiter pops it up. Haley with the set. Oh, and just off the wrist of Emily Casson and into the net. Emily hitting from the back row that time. And it'll be Emma Bell, the senior for the Falcons, doing the serving. Abby Drukas has it. Back set, Emily Kennedy just touching the ball over the net. Uh, not in great position for that set. Still in play just the same. Left side, Kennedy, yes, off two hands and down. Emily Kennedy. Five kills and a 16-8 Panther lead. And Emily gets the serve, and a good one. Into the net, and oh, it does still come back. It's hard to get drag those balls out of the net once they get there, but that happened just now. Connells will doing a good job of that back set. Casson just touching it over. Net violation, net violation. Emily Casson did get the ball over, but the point was already done. The ball was dead. You may not touch that net. Well, the ball is dead and the points awarded. Emily Kennedy, about three feet long. Point and side out Connellsville. St. Clair still leads here in the first set. 17-9. Melissa Kirby. And from the back row, that's Abby Drukas. The pancake move. Nice dive, but the pancake move does not work for Connellsville. And Abby Drukas, you don't often see the libero get a kill, but that counts in my book. From the back row, she did a, one of those overhand wrist rollers. Found the exact right spot. Sammy Amos wants a new ball. She gets one, and it's an 18-9 Panther lead. Jump serve, left-handed jump serve. Tough to, those are tough to react to. Taylor Haley with the set. Emily Casson with the drive, and it lands out of bounds here to the near side. The slicing attack lands just, I don't know, a foot and a half, two feet outside the sideline. Point and side out, Falcons. Maria Marandino with the serve. The overpass, but Connell does not take advantage. Yeah, a double hit's called. When that first pass goes over the net to the other side, usually that front line will hammer it right back home for a point. But that time it came back a little awkwardly. Connells will hit it into the net instead, and it's a 19-10, nine-point lead with Taylor Haley delivering the St. Clair serve. Left side at the net, a little slicing attack right in the center of the net, St. Clair donut. Oh my, but another net violation by Connellsville. I was looking the other direction. Somebody got their jersey into that net. Panthers get the point. 20 to 10 is the lead. Taylor Haley is the sir, rolls it right over the net. Connellsville reacts well to it. Probably would have gone up, but Sammy Amos chose to play it from the back row. 
Still could not find pay dirt. And the block work, does not work. It's still alive. Everybody, including me, thought that it hit the floor. But apparently, Connellsville with not one but two pancake moves where you put the palm of the hand flat on the floor. That ball stayed in play. Connellsville got the side out and the point. While everybody in the gym thought that was already done. A roofing call. That's like goaltending in basketball. One of the St. Clair players, I think it was probably Emily Casson, had her hand over the net. The ball's got to have a chance to know if it's going to land on one side or the other. It's just like goaltending in basketball. Service error by Sia Mickens. Gives a point right back to the Lady Panthers and 21-12. Panthers in pretty good shape right now. Timeout called. Connellsville, that's their second of the set, second of the match. Well, it's a pretty nice beginning to the season so far for the Lady Panthers. Emily Kennedy leading all attackers with five kills. The sophomore, that's number five. One each for junior number eight, the libero, Abby Drukas. Leah Kern, the sophomore, 11 has one, as does sophomore middle hitter, Sammy Amos. One block. That's still from Sammy Amos. And still only the one service ace by Lisa Oxenreiter. In front of this big crowd tonight, Collins was actually quite a long way away from here, but they brought a sizable crowd to see this match tonight. Their JV took the St. Clair Junior Varsity tonight in two sets. We'll see if the Varsity can exact a little bit of revenge. Wow, and they kept another one in. Some good defense being played here by the Falcons. A little short set left side off the block. Still recovered, still in play. Taylor Haley with a little back set. And over the end line. And he coverage a little too hard. Panthers, though, still with an eight-point lead, 21-13. Emily Means, junior for Connellsville with the serve. St. Clair, there's a uh, uh, Taylor Haley set. The Panthers are finding defensive players with these hits. They're not finding the floor yet. They'll get that worked out. Emily Kennedy right into the block, comes right back. And he caverts, and from the back row, Sammy Amos had a good look at it, but it goes into the net. That net, if memory serves, is about seven feet eight off the ground. That one came in at about seven four. Another good serve. Sammy Amos digs it off the floor. Short set. And he kept, Emily Casson couldn't find the floor. That one should, though. <laughs> Brianna Stouffer had a look at it. Hammered it into the net. Side out. Point Panthers, and it's Abby Drukas. Hard driving serve and an ace for Abby. Hard off the hands of Emma Bell. Her first day, second for the team. And the Panthers now in very good shape. It's 23-14. A set goes to 25. You only have to win it by two. Panthers in good shape right now. Abby Drukas has it. Taylor Haley with a set to the opposite side. Emily Kennedy got it a little bit low. She tried to roll it off her wrist and over the net. Rolled it into the net instead. Side out. Point Falcons. Lindsay Leonard, number two, checks back in for Connellsville. And she... We'll do the serving. Left side, Sammy Amos from way up high, but right at the defender again. You got to make those defenders move. Emily Kennedy this time, again, right at the defense. No power. Abby Drukas drags it out of there, but right at the net. Somebody was at the net. Who was it? Oh, a Connellsville jersey at the net. Thought maybe it was a St. Clair. But now the Panthers with nine set points in hand. It's 24-15. If any one of the next nine serves goes the Panthers' way, set number one is in the books for the 2013 season. Lisa Oxenright, a little backspin serve. Left side set off the block. Abby Drukas has it. Taylor Haley just dumped it over the net. It's uh, St. Clair, a net violation. Yeah, Taylor had it. She just dumped it over the net. She was a little too close, got into that net. Dead ball, violation point, and side out Falcons.
Emma Bell wearing the white libero jersey for Connellsville and a substitution number 10 back on the floor, Melissa Kirby. Senior defensive specialist comes in for Megan Kirkpatrick. Emma Bell with the serve. A.I.B. Drusus picks it up, but I, the pass was really, you need, you need to get that to the setter. It was to the right of Taylor Haley. There's not much she could do with that. Panthers still with seven set points in hand, 24-17. Emma Bell with the serve. Taylor Haley more conventionally that time, and Sammy Amos finishing things off with her second kill of the set, second kill of the match. And the Upper St. Clair Lady Panthers take set number one of this 2013 season, 25-17. There's still a lot more volleyball left to play. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back for set two. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin McGahee still here with you with a voiceover. Cody Lance behind the camera. And you just saw the Upper St. Clair Lady Panthers take set number one of this opening night match, 25-17 over the visiting Falcons of Connellsville High School. They switch ends this time. It's Connellsville playing left to right in the blue, and it's your Upper St. Clair Lady Panthers playing right to left in the white. And it looks like, let's see, one transition here. Number 28 will be checking, and this is junior, a serious senior rather, Becca Van Ryzen. We'll see some playing time here in the second set. Otherwise, that's players we've already seen. Coach Nagao not going very deep in the mat or in the down the roster yet. We shall see as this match progresses. Out of those 25 points, the Panthers only had nine kills that time. There were plenty of errors, a couple of aces, so not much on the offensive ledger to report. Lots of long rallies as the defense is getting set. It looks like this opening season squad in this section contest may have something to show the rest of this league this year. Connellsville opens with the serve. It'll be Sammy Amos with the first attack attempt of this set right to the defense again. Though slicing attack picked up nicely by Taylor Haley. Double hit called. That was Becca Van Ryzen. She's not a setter, but the ball came to her on the second touch. She made a valiant effort, but put too much spin on it or the hands did not touch at the same time. And Connells, all the Falcons open with the first point of the second set from the back row now. Emily Casson hoisted it over, back set right side. Connells right into the block, and down it went Sammy Amos. Block for a point number two, and the Panthers get the side out and point. Lisa Oxenreiter, number 13, checks in again. She's a defensive specialist. Becca Van Ryzen to the bench. My guess is she'll play the front row and Lisa the back row. Lisa already with one ace in the first set. From the left side. Emily Kennedy gets another one, my goodness. Five in the first set and Emily Kennedy opens things up here again with her sixth kill tonight. Lisa Oxenreiter again with a serve. Little hop serve just over the net. Little floater and another ace. Landed just in front of back row player, Brianna Stouffer. Two aces for Lisa Oxenreiter and a 3-1 St. Clair lead in the second set. Same serve, same result. Wow, just in front of Brianna Stouffer. <laughs> well. Another nice start for the Panthers here and a 4-1 lead in the second set. A little more direct serve that time. They weren't going to fool Stouffer again. Off the block. Picked up nicely and it's in. No. Outside the, hard to see on the TV screen, but right in front of that up official is our red and white post, that the antenna. That is the inbounds, out-of-bounds marker. That little bump from the Panthers running right to left was outside of that marker, out-of-bounds, point and side out, Falcons. A 
Sorry, that kind of stunned me. That was a surprise. That was, that was an overpass to the defense that landed just over the net and a point for the Panthers. Net violation, one of the Panthers got into the net. I'm sorry, I didn't see who that was. I was screened by the official, which you cannot touch the net. Dead ball, point, and side out Connellsville, where Emma Bell picks up the serve. We are back in business after picking up some moisture on the court. Emma Bell again, 5-3 is the Panther lead. Wow, dug out of there by Emily Kennedy. Pooched back over. Abby Drukas to the front line. And Sammy Amos with the left-handed bomb. Three kills for Sammy Amos. A 6-3 Panther lead, and Sammy heads right back to serve. Left-handed jump serve, real wicked top spin on it. Right side back set. Nice block, but did not find the floor. Emily Kennedy, Taylor Haley with a set. <laughs> Lift is the call. Lift is like palming a basketball. You just can't have your hand on that thing for too long. You can't raise it up, just like palming a basketball. Sammy Amos with the serve now. Panther serving 7-3. Hard driving serve right off the net. And the overpass just tucked down there by Emily Casson. Number 21, the senior, for her, for her first kill tonight. The lead is 5 at 8-3 Panthers. That pass has got to go to your own front line, not the other teams, or it results just like that. Sammy Amos. Given that left-handed jump serve, uh, the overpass. Oh, my. <laughs> Leah Kern had a great look at it. Was just going to place block it over on the Connellsville side. He place blocked it on her own side. Side out, point Falcons. Melissa Kirby now with that Falcon serve. And it goes out. Panthers will take that. Three service errors on the night for Connellsville. Becca Van Ryzen, indeed, number 28, checks back in for the Lady Panthers. Lisa Oxenreiter goes out, and Becca will be on that front line. Sammy Amos, the 6'2 middle blocker, she's on the back line, and 6'0 Becca Van Ryzen to the front, and that is another service ace. Taylor Haley gets that one, five on the night for the team. And a 10-4, six-point Panther lead. Just dropped over the net, handled nicely by the Falcon front line. From the left side, Maria Marandino with that attack. And my goodness, Emily Casson with that one. Two kills for Emily. The lead now 7 11 for Panthers. Taylor Haley again. Back set right side, slicing attack handled nicely by Taylor Haley. Uh, yeah, double hit, I'm sure that's the call. Yeah, again, Leah Kern, not a setter. She got two hands on the ball, but in the she tried to get it right to Becca Van Ryzen. Put too much spin on it, that's a violation, and a point in side out for Connellsville. Maria Marandino with a Falcon serve. Sammy Amos with it, Emily Kennedy. It'll be Becca Van Ryzen just keeping the ball in play. Back set right side off the block, dug out of there by Taylor Haley. At the net, short set. It lands just out. I thought maybe a St. Clair player touched it for a second, but it goes out. Well placed, it was right there in the back right corner, but went just long. And it will be Emily Casson. The senior outside hitter for the St. Clair serve at 12-5, Panthers. Rolls just over the net for an ace. Wow, if he could just do that every time. 
When the net gets involved, it sets everybody's timing off, and that's exactly what happened there. Hart driving serve, and Lindsay by the Falcons, back to the back row, and well placed in the back right corner by Maria Marandino. Saya Mickens, little jump serve and a short one. I know she wishes she had that back. Abby Drukas, the junior libero defensive specialist with a good hard driving serve. Right up it goes, and it's an ace. It won't come back. That one bounced off the Connellsville hands up into the structure. I know you couldn't see that on TV. But Abby Drukas with her second ace of the night, and it's a nine-point Panther lead at 15-6 here in set number two. Well, the serving gods giveth, and they taketh away. Abby Drukas whams it into the net. Service error. And it will be Falcons uh, serve now. Megan Kirkpatrick, number 16, checks back in. And it's Emily Means, number six, with the Falcons serve. Left side, Sammy Amos didn't get it quite down, hit it right at the libero from the back row. Overhand roller does not work. Sammy Amos again, but right at the same player. Good Falcon defense being played right now, and that one shoved out of bounds by Maria Marandino off a nice little rally. Lisa Oxenreiter with a St. Clair serve and a 16-7 lead in set number two. Right, uh, left side rather, and walloped into the net by Megan Kirkpatrick, and it's a 10-point Panther lead now at 17-7. Panthers looking pretty decent here. Not very many errors to speak about at all. The passing's been decent. Hitting's been okay. But the hits tend to go at the defensive players. A little work on that as the season goes along. Nice block by Sammy Amos off the hands of Isabella Segato for Connellsville. Emily Kennedy yet again. Seven kills for the sophomore to lead all Panther attackers so far tonight, and it's Lisa Oxenreiter again with a serve. Going way long. Connell's are dead. A good look at that one. But Maria Marandino whistled it way over the back line. Nineteen seven is a Panther lead. Oh, it goes just long. Lisa wanted to drop that on the back line. Went about two feet long. Side out point four. Connellsville. And it will be. Lindsay Leonard checking in to play back row and doing the serving right now. 11 point Panther lead, 19 8. The right side, or oh, the back set, Emily Kennedy wasn't quite ready for it. Well, a lift is the proper call. Okay, the lift is the call. Not the missed hit. Panthers to lead by 10, 19 9. Lindsay Leonard, the server. Abby Drukas pulls it out and just <laughs> sort of a finger roll over the net by Sammy Amos. Not the most devastating kill you'll ever see, but it counts just the same. 20 now to nine. Panthers, second set. Emily Kennedy with the serve. It will go long. Now the Panthers in decent shape. It's 21-9, and the Connellsville Falcons and Coach Casey O'Brien take another quick timeout, their first of this set. As I said before, they get two. Each team gets two in each set. Emily Ken and Kennedy leading all attackers with seven kills tonight. Sammy Amos, you who was the, set, uh, the kill leader all last season, in there with four. Emily Casson, the senior outside hitter, number 21, she's got two. 
One each for the sophomore Leah Kern and Abby Drukas. The libero also has one. One, two, five, seven service aces on the night so far for the Panthers. Lisa Oxenreiter with three. Abby Drukas, number eight in the libero jersey. She's got two. Taylor Haley, number 19, with one. And Emily Casson with one. And it's Emily Kennedy right now with the St. Clair serve and a 12-point lead. Little back set and down it goes. Nice little quick set play. Isabella Segato, the senior middle hitter, took care of that one. Wow, she's wearing a hefty knee brace on her left knee. 21-10, Panthers lead by 11. Emma Bell with the serve over pass, and yeah. Stuffed right back down by the Falcons. 21-11 is the score in set two. Left side off the net. Yeah, I was thinking of maybe off a finger. It went off the net and out of bounds. Off Emily Casson. Three points in a row for Connellsville. Panthers still with a pretty decent cushion. But that is the first ace of the night for the Lady Falcons. A little bit of a uh, lapse here by the Panthers. They've allowed four points in a row to the Falcons. Emma Bell again. That's better back set. Sammy Amos off the block. Oh, comes right back. Tucked over the net by Taylor Haley. Abby Drukas with a good recovery, and Sammy Amos trying to touch it over, and that is a five-point run by Connellsville. They're back within seven. It's 21-14 Panthers. We're still in the second set. Emily Kennedy with the dig. Emily Casson with the put away. She's got her third kill, and the Panthers break that string of five points. And at 22-14, Panthers need three to put set number two in the books. Sammy Amos with that hard driving left-handed jump serve. Handled nicely by the Falcons. Taylor Haley with the set. Emily Casson with the attack. It uh, is still alive and comes back. Whoa, and over the head. Two-handed bump <laughs> attack gets the point back for Connellsville. Side out, point Falcons. And Melissa Kirby, number 10 senior defensive specialist, will serve. Panthers need three. Short set, Emily Casson down. It goes back, left corner, right down the left sideline. Panthers get the side out and point. And my goodness, they'd be content to just trade points from here out. Becca Van Rysen, number 28, checks back in. Lisa Oxenreiter doesn't really want to play the front line anyway. Taylor Haley, oh, with a good serve, but a long. She's been in the weight room this week, too. She, of course, the daughter of Steelers offensive coordinator Todd Haley, who lives here in the district, and she is quite a volleyball player. It's her second year in the district, second year with the team. And she is the prime setter right now. Still a seven-point Panther lead, 23-16. Maria Marandino with the Connellsville serve. Number 13, Brianna Stouffer checked in for the Falcons just then. And from the back row, Sammy Amos. Oh, my goodness, that almost worked. It's still alive. Back row for Connellsville. There's the Taylor Haley back set. Becca Van Rysen had to stretch over her head to get that. Didn't quite have the power she wanted. Nice block by Leah Kern. Oh, Leah got it right back and tried to stuff it down over the net. Didn't quite get it over. Falcons back within six. It's 23. 17 Panthers. Sammy Amos bumps it forward. Short set. There's Leah Kern. That's what she wanted. Her second kill of the night. And the Panthers now in great shape with a seven, seven set points in hand here now at 24 17. 
just needing to get a point on any one of the next seven serves. Emily Kasson with that serve and an ace to finish it off. Emily Kasson with her second ace. And the Panthers take set number two by the same score they took set number one, 25-17. We'll take a quick breather here and be right back for set number three. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back. We are back. It is still opening night of the 2013 WPIAL Girls Volleyball season. Kevin McGahey still here with you with a voiceover. It's Cody Lance, ace cameraman for tonight, and you've just seen the Panthers take sets numbers one and two by identical scores of 25-17 from a very game Connellsville Falcon squad. But Connellsville made a few too many errors. If they correct those, their defense has been doing relatively well. And here we go, it's Lisa Oxenreiter again. No major changes again for the lineups. Coach Nagao going with the all, with the same lineups here. Sammy Amos, the 6-2, number 17 middle blocker for St. Clair and her third block for a point tonight. And the Panthers start off with an early one nothing lead here in the third and what could be deciding set. It's a best of five match. First one to three, takes it home, and that is Taylor Haley sneaking that ball over the net. Backhanded, that is her, her first kill. Well, she's the setter. She doesn't get that many chances to do that unless it's one of those two ball sneak it over type things. And Lisa Oxenreiter whistling one past the back row. Lisa Oxenreiter with her fourth four, count them, four service aces in tonight's match and she'll stride right back for another serve at three nothing connellsville at the well that's how it works they just sort of nudged one over the net that's number 12 isabella Segato, who gets credit for that side out and that breaks the ice for connellsville here in this third set brianna stouffer junior with the serve just over the net and wow dug out of there by abby drukas Nicely done, Abby. From the back row, Emily Casson had a good bit of topspin on it, but did not find the floor. Abby Drukas again with a tremendous dig, but it unfortunately didn't go to anybody. Nice work by Abby. You like to see the girls diving for those loose balls. 3-2, Panthers lead here in the third set. Uh, oh, just tipped off the net. And recovered, over it goes. Lisa Oxenreiter keeping that ball in play. Short set. Lisa again, but it gets into the net. I'd say we saw that in the first set. Once that ball gets into the net, it's extremely difficult to dig out on your own side and keep in play, and that's exactly what happened there. We're all knotted up at three. Brianna Stouffer again with the serve and an ace, the second one of the night for Connellsville and the Falcons have an early 4-3 lead here in the third set. Brianna Stouffer, nice run of four points going. Can the Panthers break it now? Well, another ace, back-to-back -back aces. And that was a beautiful serve. You want to drop it right on the back line. If you do that, it almost always freezes the defense. What just happened just now. Abby Drukas didn't know whether to play it or let it go. She let it go and landed just in the back line. She got that one, but now it's an overpass, and down it comes. Well, the Panthers scored the first three. Connellsville scored the next six, and Brianna Stouffer is still serving. At the net, Taylor Haley tried to dump it over on the two ball, but it got jammed right back down her shoulder. And the run is seven now for the Falcons. <clears throat> Abby Drukas handles that one. Taylor Haley finally with a good set. Sammy Amos finally with a put away. That's how it's supposed to work. Five kills for Sammy Amos. The Panthers break that string of points. Connellsville still leads 7-4.
And it'll be Emily Kennedy, tonight's kill leader so far for the Panthers, with it that's served from the back line. Just over. Back set right side, slicing attack, and it caught Lisa Oxenright to go in the other direction. She was headed to her left. The ball came to her right. Point and side out, Falcons. And an 8-4 lead with Emma Bell, the senior libero, striding up to do the serving. Double hit called. Well, the bump came in a little low and hard. Taylor Haley did try to get it vertical, and in doing so, she put a little too much spin on it. And the Panthers here suddenly trail by five. Another awkward set. Well, this is not the same Panther team we saw in sets one and two. Let's see how the Panthers recover. And it is Emily Casson with the attempt, but did not find the polyurethane. Well, it doesn't come back. So we'll give it to Emily Casson with kill number five. But now the Panthers find themselves down by five. 10 5 here in the third set. Sammy Amos. She's got that left handed, devastating jump serve, but has not gotten an ace out of it yet and won't this time. That lands outside. The sideline. Four service errors tonight for the Panthers to go with nine aces. And it'll be Lindsay Leonard, senior defensive specialist serving for Connellsville. Panthers needing some points here in a hurry, but that is not going to do it. Emily Kennedy kind of whiffed on that one. Five aces now on the night for Connellsville. Panthers just lost a little focus here. The lead is seven for the Falcons at 12-5. Off the structure, it is playable. Comes back and rattles off the block and another point. My goodness for the Falcons and the lead is eight at 13-5. Emily Drukas has it. Taylor Haley with the set. And that one finally works. Leah Kern gets kill number three tonight. Panthers get the point inside out and now need a little run of their own. Trailing by seven, 13-6 Connellsville. Taylor Haley with a serve, drops it on the back row. A lift called, I, I, was, I was screened by the official, I didn't see it. It must be true because uh, the official had a better look at it than I did. Panthers trail by six, 13-7. Taylor Haley again with a serve. It will not come back with power. Now can the Panthers use it? Taylor Haley with the set to the left side. Emily Casson could not find the floor. Touched over, it's Taylor Haley just touching it over and it comes whistling right back, left side. Emily Casson overhand did not find the floor again right at the defenders. Panthers getting some good looks, but they're going right at the defense. Right side off the block, and it's still in play. Nice rally. Abby Drukas has it. Taylor Haley back set. And finally, the Panthers cash in. Annie Kavrich, the junior right side hitter with her first kill tonight. And the Panthers back-to-back -back point as they bring, come back within five. Somebody sweat or drooled on the floor over there. It is uh, being picked up by Annie Caverich. We don't want anybody slipping on this floor. They, knew, they refinished it again over the summer. And it can be slick if water gets on it. Panthers trail by five. 13-8, Falcons third set. From the left side. Off the block, it goes up exactly where it's supposed to go. Leah Kern trying to place it down, did not a, what does the call here? A double hit call on the second touch. And the Panthers now with back to back to back points. And it's Taylor Haley still serving at 13-9 Falcons. Hard driving serve. And that's an ace for Taylor Haley. <laughs> Off the hands of Lindsay Leonard. 
And that seven point deficit now has been whittled down to three. 13 10 fog. Another good driving serve. Handled nicely by the blue. Oh, but it goes just off the block and into the center of the defense. Connell Hook gets the point in the side out. Panthers could use another little run. 14 10 is the lead. Connellsville back on the floor, number 13, Brianna Stouffer. Junior outside hitter. Abby Drukas has it. Taylor Haley short set. Leah Kern, but right at Lindsay Leonard. And a slicing attack from the Falcons. Back to back points stretches the lead back to five at 15 10 here in the third set. Panthers already with two sets in hand in this best of five match. A little balloon ball. Abby Drukas has it. Taylor Haley back set. Emily Casson hit it hard. But again, Sterling defense being played by these Falcons. Left side. Casson again. And it drops. You got it. I'll take it. Nobody has it. And Emily Casson gets her sixth kill now. The Panthers right now needing three or four points right in a, right in a row. 15-11, Connellsville. Good serve, and it does come back. Good reaction by Connellsville. Emily Kennedy hasn't seen one in a while and doesn't get one there. Sammy Amos has it. Who's got it? Oh, into the net. Andy Caverich had a look, but pounded it into the net. Point and side out Falcons and a 16-11 lead for the Blue. Well, that's four hits. Taylor Haley had to make that set as an over-the-head bump. I think that had too much spin on it for Sammy Amos. Six-point Connellsville lead, 17-10. Leah Kern, but right into the block. Oh, four hits is the call. I thought maybe a Connellsville blocker touched it. She did not. And the Panthers got within four and quickly, just like that, gave up three more in a row. And it's an 18-11 Connellsville lead here in the third set. This is not the deciding set of the match. Panthers already lead two sets to love. And it takes three to finish off the match. Meanwhile, Emily Kennedy, we just saw her get a shot at a, an attack just now. It's the first time she's had one in this set. She still leads all hitters with seven kills. Emily Casson, number 21, is catching up. She's got six now. Sammy Amos, the sophomore, number 17, she's got five. Leah Kern still with three. Abby Drukas, Annie Caverich, number three, and Taylor Haley, number 19, all have one for the Panthers. But right now, the Lady Panthers could use a little bit of focus and get uh, put together four or five points in a row here. It will be. Saya Mickens, number 23, with the Connellsville serve and a good one. Double hit called. I'm afraid that's because of the pass. Sammy Amos passed that uh, sort of beyond where Taylor Haley was standing. And the lead is eight now, 19-11. Sammy Amos just pushing them all over the net right at the Connellsville defense. Connellsville's defense has brought them back in this match. And things like that happen. Just the number 21, I think, Angel Fulton, the senior. With credit for that. And right now, Connellsville sitting pretty with a 20-11 lead. It's right where you want to be. You get to 20 and you want a nice cushion of points. And that's exactly what the Falcons have. Whoa, just edged over the net. One of the softest kills you'll ever see, but Emily Casson gets one back for the Panthers. It's 20 to 12 now. Good serve from the back row. That one goes long. Good choice that time by Abby Drukas. One at a time. Panthers back to back points. The deficit is seven, 20 to 13. 
From the left side, just touched over, but rescued by Taylor Haley. Emily Kennedy well, drops it down, but nicely rescued by the Falcons. Emily gets another shot up. It didn't have a lot of power at it. Had to reach way over her head to get that. And it lands just out. Oh, my goodness. Wow, Brianna Stouffer thought she had that one, but it landed just wide here to the near side. And the Panthers back within six, make it seven. I know Abby Drukas would want to have that serve back. But it came up short. Emily Means now for the Connellsville Falcons. Knuckleball of a serve. Who's got it? From the back row, that one goes long off the hands of Maria Marandino. Panthers still in some difficulty here. Still trail by seven, six rather. It's 21-15. Lisa Oxenreiter coming up with the St. Clair serve. Handled by the Falcons from the back row. It's been to see. Oh, Sammy Amos blocking that thing and hammering it right down on the Connellsville side. Right place, right time. Four blocks for points tonight for Sammy Amos. Panthers back within five, 21-16. Can they keep it going? Abby Drukas. Emily Kennedy keeping the ball in place. Some defense required now by these Panthers. Slicing attack, handled nicely. Taylor Haley touching the ball over the net, and it works. Taylor Haley got everybody out of place and out of sync. And the Panthers for the second time in this set, clawing back within four. 21-17 timeout called by Coach O'Brien of the Connellsville Falcons. And my goodness, the Panthers, with some sort of loss of focus here, got down by a bundle, down by nine, I think, was the biggest deficit here in the second set and have come crawling back one point at a time now at a good point in the set. It's 21-17 Connellsville. Panthers lead two sets to love. And Emily Casson now, number 21, has tied Emily Kennedy for the lead now in kills so far tonight with seven each. They're spread out pretty evenly. That's a very good place you want to be. You want to have a lot of attacking threats. Some of these teams have one devastating hitter, and the ball goes to that person all the time. But from the Panthers, you never know where that attack is going to come from. Seven for Emily Kennedy, five for Sammy Amos, seven for Emily Casson. We could use a few right now. It's Lisa Oxenreiter with the balloon ball serve. It's an overpass. Oh, and Emily Kennedy could not tuck it back down on the floor. So now the Panthers can use this. Taylor Haley with the set. Sammy Amos. And Emily Kennedy with the put away on the overpass. And the Panthers back within three. I thought Sammy Amos' attack took care of it, but it was picked up by the Donaldsville defense. Lisa Oxenreiter again. Panthers trail by three. Time for the D. And Sammy Amos touches it down. Kill number six for Sammy. And just like that, the Panthers are back within two at 21-19. Lisa Oxenreiter again. Be a good time for an ace. Substitution on the floor. Number 16 comes back in Megan Kirkpatrick for Connellsville and more moisture on the floor. Megan Kirkpatrick came on for Connellsville. Isabella Segato with that knee brace is on the bench. It's Lisa Oxenreiter with the serve. Nothing remarkable about it. Connellsville has it back set right side and way out of bounds. Wow. And here the Panthers have come back from the deceased to trail by one. It's 21-20. 
In the third set, Lisa Oxenreiter with the serve. Same lofty serve, left side, slicing attack, and Connellsville breaks that run of St. Clair points. That is Megan Kirkpatrick, who just checked in. 22-20. A set goes to 25, you have to win it by two, but if the teams get to 24 all, we play bonus volleyball until somebody does win it by two, and Sammy Amos. The right place, right time. And as we march down to the conclusion of this set, the team that receives the ball gets the advantage of the first bump set attack. So we'll see what happens here. Panthers need some tremendous defense. Oh, and there's one right there. Well, didn't take defense to do that, but the Panthers just tied it up on that cross-court set attempt by Maria Merendino. 22 all here in this third set with the Panthers trailed by nine, maybe 10. I kind of forget now. Oh, but Gallinville gets one back off Maria Merendino. Remember the receiving team, just like that. The receiving team gets the advantage. They can just handle the serve. Emily Kennedy, Taylor Haley, Emily Casson, but could not find the floor. Same combination. Emily just touches it over, Emily Casson, just over the front row, and we're all tied up at 23. Now can the Panthers get two points here and run this thing out and send us all home happy and early? We shall soon find out. Sammy Amos with the serve. And it works. Touched over by Taylor Haley. Wow, and now the Panthers after trailing by a bundle earlier in the match are serving for match point and Connellsville, the Falcons take a quick timeout. Well, it's a nice combination of the St. Clair defense coming alive, the timely hitting and a few Connellsville errors put all that together. And the Panthers have come back from a big deficit now to come within a whisker of win in this set and match. It's 24-23, Panthers with the serve. Connellsville has the advantage. They will get the first crack at a bump set attack. Panthers need some defense to counter that. If Connellsville gets the point, we'll be tied up at 24. Then we play bonus volleyball till somebody does win it by two. If the Panthers take this point, this match is over. So we shall see what Sammy Amos has in her hip pocket. Actually, there's no hip pockets in these shorts, but just the same. What can she do for a serve handled by the Falcons? Left side, Merendino off a block. It's still in play. Oh, it's a lift called. Oh, my. Well, thought the Panthers, after a brilliant dig to keep that ball alive, we are now tied up at 24. And we play until somebody wins it by two. Connells was Lindsay Leonard with the first serve. Taylor Haley with the set. Emily Casson with the attack. Off the block. Does it come back? It does. Now the Panthers can use it. There's the set. Casson again, slicing attack, but again, right at the defender, hauled off the ground. Marandino off the St. Clair block and down. And they've now got control of the set at 25 24. Lindsay Leonard with the Falcon serve. Sammy Amos has it. Over it goes. Panthers could not use it for a kill. Marandino touched nicely covered. And it, oh, it did not hit the antenna. Still in play. Another great dig. Oh, my. Now can the Panthers use it to get this point? Taylor Haley did not work that time. Left side, Emily Casson rolls it over and down. Emily Casson with her ninth kill. Wow, what a rally and some defense. And we're all tied up at 25. Taylor Haley.
Oh, there was a question they talked with the linesman. Whether that one that bounced on the net hit the antenna, it did not. During the course of that St. Clair point, good serve by Taylor Haley. Now, good organized return by Connellsville off the St. Clair block. Falcons lead by one, 26-25. Substitution. Brianna Stouffer back on for Connellsville. Taylor Haley with the set. And he caverage with that attack. It did not find the floor. Taylor Haley again, just touched over by Leah Kern, also did not find the floor. Now can the Panthers put this one away? Back set. Oh my goodness, Andy Caverage couldn't find the Molly Earth ain't. There it is, Taylor Haley with the set. Left side, touched over. Here we go again. Short set, Leah Kern. Still a great rally. Oh, into the net it goes. Panthers point at 26 all. We can play all night like this, folks. Remarkable defense being played by both squads here. Emily Casson, the St. Clair serve, and a good one. It goes backwards off the basketball net and down. It's playable off the structure, but Connellsville did not make that happen. Emily Casson with an ace. The Panthers now in control, 27-26. Another good hard driving serve. Probably would have gone out, but Connellsville chose to play it. No power now. Can the Panthers use it to finish this match off? Left side set, Emily Kennedy, no! Comes to back to the left side, Connellsville, and that slicing attack finds the floor. Brianna Stouffer ties it up at 27. Connellsville with the serve. Zaya Mickens with the serve for Connellsville. My goodness. Yeah, nobody, oh, Panthers not paying attention. Nobody covering, and Connellsville with the serve and a 28, 27. It's only the third set. This doesn't even determine the match. But it's an exciting third set, let me assure you of that. Short set, Emily Kennedy. Oh, can't find the floor. Left side, into the net and down. We're all tied up at 28. Wow, Abby Drukas, the libero. Oh, not a good time for a service error. Now the Panthers with the advantage again. First receipt of serve. It'll be Emily Means for Connellsville serving for the set. Moisture on this court tonight. I guess they got that taken care of. Connells will serving for the set at 29-28. Taylor Haley with the set. Sammy Amos with the put away. Oh my goodness, just nudging that ball. Over the front line, we are all tied up at 29. St. Clair controlling the serve. Lisa Oxenreiter. Already with four service aces under her belt. Well, they don't wear belts in these shorts, but just to say, you know what I mean. Tied up at 29. Lisa Oxenreiter with the serve and a good one. From the back row and it goes long. Oh, oh my goodness. Now Panthers once again at match point. This is, I forget, this is four or five match points now. Lisa Oxenreiter. Oh, it just in on the back line. And Lisa Oxenreiter takes the match with a service ace. To, to, in the 
in the scorebook, it's only going to look like a 3-0 match. But that was an exciting way to go through this. A thrilling third set, and the, the upper St. Clair Panthers get on the board in the 2013 season with a 3-0 win over the really game Falcons of Connellsville High School by scores of 25-17. 25-17 and 31-29. Well, I'm glad my voice lasted this long and the Panthers off to a one match to love lead and first place, it's early yet, in section play. We're glad you were with us all night, everybody. My name's Kevin McGahee. Cody Lance was working the camera for you. We're glad you were all watching Upper St. Clair Cable 7. There's a lot more volleyball yet to come this season. Thanks for watching, everybody, and good night.